Hi there again everyone, Josie here from Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel. Today I have a couple of Dollar Tree DIYs that would work well in a small space. Since this is back to school season, I am making this DIY for those students, especially the ones living in a dorm or even those who are not living in the dorm but they're in a shared apartment or even a shared room in a house or also tiny houses. I'll be creating two Dollar Tree DIYs. Hopefully you can incorporate whether you're living small or big. For the first project you will need one of their display easel at the Dollar Tree and I chose black. This comes in silver as well as gold and I'm gonna stretch it. I'm going to leave the bottom as it is but then I'm gonna stretch or straighten the back where the photo or picture or easel would lean on that's what I'm gonna straighten out pretty much this is how it's gonna be there's gonna be a little bump or something protruding but that's okay because we're going to be adjusting this anyway the next couple of items you would need is one plastic paddle board or cutting board that they sell at the Dollar Tree. This one is from my previous project. I have added a little bit of glittered washi here, but I'm going to be removing that because that's not going to work anymore for my DIY. So what I've done here is I just hot glued the chalkboard that they sell at the Dollar Tree and it's in the school supply area. If you cannot find that, you can also paint the paddle board with chalkboard paint. I will be making this part narrow, a bit narrow, this thing here on the top. See that? Just shaping it like what? It looks like a dress even. <laughs> it has a waist. And then I will be gluing it. So first I attempted to use hot glue to attach this to the back of the paddle board with chalkboard combination. However, it doesn't hold because the plastic is a little bit slippery and this painted metal just doesn't go well with just the hot glue. So I am going to be reinforcing it with E6000. But first, I'm going to show you that I attempted it and just want to forewarn you it's not gonna work okay so I just adjusted it and put some these white ones are my E6000 that's made up and the it's oozing out on the side so here it is all dried up so I just made a bowl just hot glue it Put it in the middle here and voila, right on. So this project just cost me only three or less than four dollars because this one is three for a dollar. For the second small space or dorm room hack organizer, I'm using a couple of these geometric gray and white placemats. So I'm going to be using these two pieces and I am going to make this as a filing pouch or an in or out going mail pouch. So to fold this, I'm going to make sure that this made in the USA inscription here or mark is not going to be where I'm going to fold it because I'm going to fold this to create a pouch. So that's going to be on the top back, which is not going to show in the front. So I'm just eyeballing it here. So on this one, I would say this is like two inches, okay? And then you can go ahead and crease it or fold it. Okay, I am going to be applying glue onto this section here. But I have to be very careful that I apply it towards here because it's rounded edge okay so I'm going to use a pencil 
and this is going to be my end point for the glue okay so that would be the bottom part of the curve the one closest to the line okay so I have that dot there now go ahead and make it longer now because uh, it will be hidden away anyway okay. start from here just thin layer first and then go ahead and fold it make sure before it captures that you can still move it if you prefer you can use strong bond glue like your E6000, super glue, anything that is stronger than the hot glue but right now it looks like it's working for me but if you want a stronger one go ahead and do so as you could see because hot glue dries fast what I've done is I have reinforced again this side because it dried too fast for me so it didn't really hold so just keep that in mind, work as fast as you can. And then as you can see here, I'm sealing it, making sure everything is all sealed up. Okay, and then that's it. And I repeated the same procedure or the same steps on the second placemat. Splatting this, you can connect this to now. I'm going to put hot glue here. What I suggest on this portion probably what you need to do is use E6000 for stronger bond but for now since I'm just testing it out I'm going to be using hot glue. Okay. So I'll just apply generous amount of glue here on this top portion and then I am going to be attaching that to the bottom of the top envelope or pouch. Okay, so this is how I'm going to be hanging it on the door or you can try using this system also on your wall if you don't want to hang it on the door. So I'm going to be puncturing two holes and I'm going to make sure that those two holes are aligned to this shower caddy's hook. From the top, eyeball something like this, like um, half an inch from the top. To puncture the holes, I'm using this hole puncher, and they sell this also at the Dollar Tree. It's sharp enough to puncture hole in this thin vinyl placemat, as you could see on that side, and I'm going to repeat it on this side. I have the holes now, and then I am inserting them here. And Voila. to make it like a message center board or a command center so this is what I'm gonna be putting on the top this is the magnetic frame it's not even made of wood but I like the finish here it's like faux wood Let me just remove this photo so I'm just gonna be gluing it as close as possible to this I'm leaving enough space so that whether I use the command hook or even if I use picture hooks or even those over the door hangers that they sell at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to be using my handy dandy hot glue to do that. And the reason why I'm putting it as high as possible is because I'm going to put something here and I don't want it to obstruct this. Okay. So I'm just going to be putting it here. I'll just eyeball it doesn't have to be very complicated, right? I want to keep this just in case I need to dismantle this and use it for another project. So I'm not even tearing off or removing that magnetic um, backing there. But I'm being mindful not to apply hot glue there. So just eyeball it that it's centered. So voila. So that's it. So let it dry. And hot glue dries fast. You can use E6000 as well if you think 
that you want it to be more stable. Now for things that you can put, so I'm thinking on this one, I can use this. I'm going to be inserting in the corner here how I made this. I am going to insert the video, the video link or the iCard so that you can just click that and watch how I made this. So yeah, so I just used this uh, using cardboard, empty rolls of toilet paper and wrap them or cover them with this decorative paper or contact paper. Just put it here and this is where you can place you know your your pens especially if you are writing notes uh, you would need this pair of scissors especially if you're opening packages you can use that to organize that if you need some pencils or pens this will be a place where you can store it here are some other optional or additional items that you can use for that kind of mini command center for your dorm room or your small space so this one you can use this to list your grocery list or anything that you want to remind yourself on now this one I'm gonna put this in in one of this container this comes three in a pack so here's the final shot everyone what I've done here is I use the over the door metal hanger or hooks that they sell at the Dollar Tree and I've decided also to add a calendar to the first project I use this three ring binder calendar insert that you get at the Dollar Tree I just added a ribbon so let's go over these two projects first the one on the right where I created this message board connected to the shower caddy and I also used four empty rolls of toilet paper decorated it with contact paper and there in the middle is a tray where you can put sticky notes and I like this especially for students because they always use highlighters pencils pens they need those and if they're in a rush they can just grab the pens or the highlighters or pencils that they need in the tray there are some sticky notes that they can use probably peel up some to use for school or to leave messages that you can put on the message board here next to the shopping list and actually the bigger messages would be left on the chalkboard that is on the left and this is where you can write your important messages for the group especially in a shared environment or shared room you can put the big message here like saying okay pep rally scheduled for Saturday at 7 p.m. things like that and that's for everyone especially if you're all in the dorm in the same school of course and I like also this in and out pouches so for incoming and outgoing mails if you have multiple people let's say there are four of you you can just add more envelopes just connect them together just the way I connected the first two and just label them instead of in and out label them with the name so somebody will be in charge of the mail every day to sort them out so you kind of rotate and then put the mails there or if you would prefer not to use it for those just use this for your stationary organizer for envelopes for mailing envelopes or even mailing notepads even the stamps you can put them in the tray organizer perfect for someone living alone because i don't think you would want to leave your car key here in case in case your roommate would want to drive it on her own while you're asleep right but this is a place where you can also put your id if you're living alone maybe if you have a shared restroom and it's locked and everyone has a copy of a key for each room you can just leave it here and then whoever goes to the restroom will put it back after using okay everyone i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please share to anyone who may be interested in the same kind of setup and i apologize if it's a bit long because i gave you two projects in one video and i gave more details on each step so that whenever there are questions or possible questions they're already answered 
on the tutorial. But if you have additional questions, do not forget, you can comment down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to respond to your question. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe and also click that notification bell once it appears after you click the subscribe icon. And to my returning subscribers, thank you all for your support. Take care everyone, have a great day. Hope to talk to you again in my next video. Bye-bye.